It's been nearly a year since the NRL City vs. Country was discontinued, but in the women's game, it's bigger and more important than ever. While the City team is yet to be announced, Country has released their star-studded lineup full of Jillaroos such as Isabel Kelly and Ruan Sims, as well as up-and-coming local stars. This year, City vs. Country will be played as part of the national championship where NSW Country, NSW City, Queensland Country, Queensland City, Affiliated States and the Australian Defence Force all play each other in three games each, across the weekend. In its first year, it will be a great step for the women's game. The national championship is set to showcase the best of current and up-and-coming talent throughout the games, helping to draw attention to the inaugural women's NRL and other women's competition. While the television or streaming rights have not yet been confirmed, the game can be expected to gain plenty of public attention, even more so if on free-to-air TV. As a part of the NRL's women's pathways, these games also help up-and-coming players to receive recognition for their talent and commitment, and help them to the WNRL or other representative honors. This is a crucial part of not only this year's WNRL, but also building this for next year and onwards. The national championship kicks off on June 1st on the Gold Coast. It's been almost a month since the details of the inaugural women's NRL was. Southern and Northern Country will compete in Mudgee this weekend, where players will be. The teams to compete in this year's inaugural WNRL have been announced with four. With the men's season being in its opening rounds, the NRL has revealed Australia's